Hey guys, me Charlie here, bringing you my top five Sylvester McCoy stories. So not 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 to waste any time. I'm with the video, shall we? So the first episode on my list is Dragonfire. Yes, the first appearance of Ace. And I think it's okay story. It's uh good. It's 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 good a uh, good introduction for us and goodbye Mel. Mel, but um um well that's all I can say about it. It's a pretty decent story, I guess. But I uh quite like this one. It's a uh, pretty well done, pretty well scripted. It it and that's all I can really say about it. Taking the number 4 spot, I have Delta and the Bannerman. Now this one is underrated in my opinion, and it's one of my favourites. And I know that Adam Fishwick may, may change my thoughts on that on when I first saw this, I didn't like it that much. But when I saw it again, I can simply say it's one of my favourites. It's cheesy, yes, but I think it's good fun, good characters, good kind of good script, but... It's like, like I said, it's cheesy, but good fun. This one. The next one on my list is another one I consider underrated, and I don't really like uh, circuses that much. But this story, not out of part. Of course, I'm talking about the Great Show in the Galaxy. This story is creepy, really, really creepy, in a good. Way I absolutely love this one, and you may know that I love it because, well, Aaron has said that on his Sylvester McCoy years video that I love this one, and let's be honest, he's right. <laughs> yeah, so I love this one, and I'm, one character I do love from it is uh, the character of Max, which has a very interesting twist, which I won't spoil for you guys in case you haven't seen it. And so yeah, this one is absolutely brilliant. One of my favourites. Now we come to one of the most darkest Doctor Who stories ever created, and I freaking love this one. And it's second on my list. I think dark is my favourite relative in Lord Doctor Who. Of course, I'm talking about the Curse of Fenric. This is uh, such a Gem of a story, brilliantly written. I can't even recommend this one enough to anyone. Anyone at all. But the big question is what could be better than this? Yeah, what could be better than this? This one is going to cause a lot of controversy. I personally enjoy it. I'm not going to lie, this is my uh, fa favorite McCoy's story. Yes, of course, I'm talking about his first ever story, Time and Alani. <laughs> oh my god. No, it's not really my uh, favorite McCoy story at all. I'm sure enough it's bad, but it's I don't find it as bad as other people say. It's like Adam Fish... Oh man, I can't imagine any Adam Fishwick's <laughs> action <laughs> to this chop. Oh, it's, uh, dear me. I'm just kidding. It's not the best McCoy story in the world. But it's not the worst, I, I don't find it the worst. My real McCoy choice, top McCoy choice, is this one right here, Remembrance of Daleks. This one, well, it's just an example of Doctor Who at its finest. It's really on par with the Waters of Mars, not level gold per se, but it's like Waters of Mars level good. Really, really good. I can't recommend this one enough to anyone. And um, really, this is like a brilliant masterpiece of a story. I can't actually believe this one exists. And it has a very, very predictable villain. If you look, look, if you recognize this voice, voice, uh, so yeah, this is a truly brilliant master. It's the piece, and if I was to rate this one, I'd give it a vote of 10. Words can't describe how awesome this story truly, truly is. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my list. 
this. Remember to subscribe to subscribe to uh, All Things Dot Two, Adam Fishwick, and uh, Doctor Who Guide, otherwise known as Alex Pattis, and as well as Alex Goddard, as well as the Geeks Handbag. So yeah, yeah. Mem remember, stay cool, and I'll see you in the next video. I star in wherever that may be. See you around, guys. Bye.